Sometimes I don't know how to start a video, so I thought I'd give you an insight as to how it is to live in London. This morning I was thinking, what do I do for this week's video? And I was going to do one on something that we haven't seen before, but then I thought Pimp My Ride UK. And it's been quite a while since I've done one on Pimp My Ride UK, and I've only done three videos, and every time I've done one, I've had fun. A little rhyme for you there, free of charge. And speaking of free of charge, Pimp My Ride UK is not free of charge, so I've got to pay for it. £1.89, man. Fuck it. Now breaking the bank for that one. And if you've seen the other videos, you'll know that I had a list of four episodes I wanted to watch, and we've already watched two, so we're going to be picking from that one. And this one is Jono's Volkswagen. So let's purchase... Oh... It's taken a while. Purchased by accident. Oh, I fucking wish. Surely. When we started the- Fucking hell. Surely I am the only person that's buying these. Let's pimp my ride, UK style dog. <laughs> also, I've decided from now on not to wear my headphones because I'm tired of wearing my headphones. I want to show off my trim. Okay, let's go. We asked you to decide what ride got pimped. The lines are closed. The votes have been counted. Huh? So in 2006, they were having a call-in contest as to what car should be pimped. I'm pretty sure Pimp My Ride UK had about nine viewers, so it was nine, it was a it was a toss-up between nine people voting. The pressure was on. It was mad close. When I try to explain how close things are, I also do that. And the winner is Pimp Number Four, Trotto. I would have been on the edge of my seat if I saw that live. But I'm about to make Jono's dream come true. I really despise the way that this man dresses. It's always 10 times too big. He's built like one of the men in black cockroach and alien things, isn't he? That's why he's trying to make himself look as big as possible. Because my man a broom underneath. <laughs> I'm gonna pimp his right. Fucking hell, every P that man says. You gotta hit us up. To get a pimped out ride. Why didn't they get like a English person to redub it for the English theme tune? That would have been a lot better. You got to pimp my ride. And instead of the damn ride, they should have something like, in it, bruv. Hi, I'm Jono, and this is my ride. Irish? Oh, no. <laughs> Oi, Jano, this boy raw. That's what we got to listen to. Sorry to my two A. I nearly said Asian viewers, then my two Irish. Asian, Irish, they are the same thing. I drive a VW Type 2 pickup, 1979. I just love the shape of it. He said he loves the shape of it. I love the shape of it. Shape of it. I'll do my very best to not talk about the Irish accent from here on. My dad met someone in the pub one day, so my dad just offered him two pints of beer in exchange, which was great for me. <laughs> not doing too good for the Irish stereotypes, eh? He met someone in the pub and then traded two pints for a car. That happens every day in Ireland. Fact. Every hole in my pickup you can at least stick four fingers in. I know someone else I can stick four fingers in. <laughs> Your mum. <laughs> Thanks for watching me on a regular basis and thanks for subscribing and liking the video. Give the video a like, a hundred likes and I will have a good night's sleep. Jana's mum passed away about two years ago and since that happened, he's really had to grow up. He's had a tough year and a half or two. And... Oh, way to put a downer on the video. Fuck yeah. This is the back of the pickup, as you can see here, is plenty of space to do loads of things. So I cut out things for time and copyright reasons. And I know because in the description it says something, I'm not gonna ruin it for you guys, but he said he would like to be an event manager and he would like the van to be a part of the parties that he throws. So some stupid shit's gonna happen to this van that's party infused. It's pretty filthy looking. <laughs> what the fuck was that stance? Oh, fucking you know. hell. I'm acting natural. But his pickup is more muddy feels than it is centre stage. Let's go find this dude and get the party started. Find this what? This dude? Let's go find this dude. Could they not do another take? He literally said dude. Unless that is a word that I don't know. 
All right, Tim. Oh, I've had enough of this man. And why is he not dead at this point? How old? He's like 70. Hurry up. <laughs> what do you do for music? Or do you just listen to the call of the wild? Just do that. Pow! You wouldn't think he was a successful DJ, would you? There was a couple of minutes of... Jano! Talking to Tim. It was all shit. So I cut it out. And now they're at the West, well, not the West Coast Customs, that's the US version, vastly superior to this crock of shit. They're at the place now where we're gonna see some diatrims and hopefully something to talk about because absolutely fucking nothing's happened so far. What's up, Jamie? I'll tell you, I do not remember this thing looking this bad. I'm just desensitized to his haircut now. I've seen it too many times that I saw it and I was like, yeah, it's just Jamie at this point. Hello, Chewy. How do you do, mate? Not bad, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good to meet you. <laughs> That's some classic British humour right there, isn't it? <laughs> Yo, it's the final episode of the series, and we've got to finish up real strong. He just looks like fucking Dracula. He really does look like he's a vampire. Well, I'm not going to lie to you, but this one is going to be a real challenge. But that's what we do. Martin? I know they have to get shots of people and try and make it a presentable show, but I do love his reaction. That's what we do! Pinky. Jono wants to live it up festival style. Oh, Pinky, go on, give me something, because she's always talking like that. And there's a lot of lip going on, a lot of tongue action. It's a great time looking at Pinky talk about designing. Carlos. There were no L's in what I was saying, so I had to, because I wanted to do that. A canopy that'll extend out when the lid's open. And where we're seeing, hot tub, keep things bubbling. That's what I read in the description. They're gonna put a hot tub in the back of his truck. What's John I gonna do about his sounds? First up, I'm gonna custom build him a system that's gonna keep the party rocking. He better fucking not talk about DVDs and screens. If you're a returning viewer, you know what I'm talking about. If you're new, thanks for joining, subscribe, give the video a like, 100 likes, and I'll have a good night's sleep. And then I'll install a top of the range LCD TV in the back of his cabin, so he and his mates can watch a movie while they chill out in the hot tub. He didn't say DVDs, but he did fucking talk about watching movies. It's his only job. He only knows about screens and DVDs. He knows nothing else. <laughs> I bet there'd be someone saying like, you know what, I really hate music. I really hate watching movies. And they'd still get him involved. So he said he hates DVDs and movies. So I thought, I'd try and coax him over. And I thought I'd try and win him over. I'll get him some DVDs, I might give him my collection. Let him borrow it for a bit. Richie, over to you. Well, with all the kit we're giving him, he is gonna need some serious Power. He's my favourite, that guy. I think I've made a similar joke, but the way he speaks is like he doesn't know English and he's just memorised it off a piece of paper. Because it, it doesn't seem natural coming out of his lips. Oh, that sounds pimptastic. John is going to get his swagger on and his parties are going to be hot. Don't these words sound incredibly unnatural coming out of that man's mouth? It's like me saying it. So imagine I came here and I said with my, with my accent, I'm about to get my swagger on and this party's going to be hot. Horrible, isn't it? Talk like where you were brought up, Westwood. Were you brought up in the Bronx? Ah, we are. Were you brought up in Miami? Were you? My man Jono drives a wreck. A 79 VW pickup. Again with the fucking P's, Tim. I know I've cut a lot out, but every time he pronounces a P, he does say it like that. There's so much wind off the back of that P that you can smell we had for dinner. All you gotta do is print the flyers and put up the posters. You see what I fucking mean. Put up the p Your lips don't need to produce that much force, fella. Jono, in all my time of pimping cars- That's a fucked up hat. He looks like he's got dreads under there. Once they've done a mast off, I'll finish the rest of the truck in royal blue. Take it from me, Jono. Blue is the new black. I'm not taking it from him. Blue is the new black. This many years later, is blue currently black? Because it'd be the old black at this point, wouldn't it? What am I saying? I can't be bothered. I've had enough. <laughs> that blue looks horrible from whatever I showed you. You'll see it in a bit. It's not a nice colour. 
Also, very briefly, thank you to this person that dropped a couple of squiddles to the PayPal with a, such a lovely message. You know, I saw that and it made my heart flutter <laughs> because the main reason I make these videos is to make people laugh and is to give people a better day. It's the reason I've been doing this for so long. I've only been making videos on YouTube for about a year and a bit now consistently. So when I get a message that's saying that I made their day better or, or I helped them get through stuff, it's really, really nice. So thank you to that person. And if you want to help the channel and send me a nice message to make my heart flutter, Link is in the description. Anyway. Now a regular hot tub would run off the domestic, plumbing and electrics. Pinky, please stop shouting at me. <coughs> Christ! But this is in a 30 year old van. I'm fitting two petrol powered generators, one to keep the water warm and one to keep her bubbling. <coughs> they are trying, they're trying their best. And it's just not good enough, is it? <laughs> Of course, we've got a montage of tea and biscuits because it wouldn't be British without it, would it? Because we all love tea and biscuits. Fact. Ask any Englishman if they like tea and biscuits. They will say yes. Ask me. Go on, ask me. Yeah, sometimes. If Jono wants to throw parties off the beaten track, he's going to need help to find some fresh locations. Do you see what I mean about how it looks like he doesn't know English and he is reading a script? He is so cockney that it looks like he doesn't know English. That's like my dad. My dad's so cockney, I don't know what he's saying. That's the reason I haven't seen him in 10 years. <laughs> dad, listen, you're too cockney and you're using way too much London cockney rhyming slang. I've had enough. I'm not seeing you for a decade. And that's what's happened. And that is not a joke. Well, no, the joke, the, the joke is that I stopped seeing him because of the cockney. I'm not getting into my life. I saw my dad yesterday. Best friends. Stop fucking prying about my life, all right? Keep it to yourself. <laughs> so I've lined him up with this latest sat-nav system by the dash here, but this ain't no ordinary sat-nav. He said sat-nav. That V was monstrous. Sat-nav. Can we get a playback of that, please? Sat-nav. Sat-nav. Now the hot tub's in. Oh, fucking hell, Pinky. Right, come on guys, John O's on his way. Where I'm already at the end. What the fuck? I've been watching for minutes and they're already about to show John O. Huh? This has been shit. This has been a disaster. Guys? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Lighting in your joint didn't feel good. Even the sheep showed you no respect. If you didn't take it off me, you know what would happen to that pickup? I could not tell you a fucking word they just said then. The volume of their voices is down here, and that backing track is here. And Westwood trying to say words. <laughs> and then the Irish, if you didn't, if you had more happened in album. What are you saying? Will you make some noise as I introduce on stage Jono's whole new track? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Jono, the truth is, your pickup was the worst ride we ever had to pimp. Do I even have to say at this point, this man's talking about the worst type of shit. Look at your trim cousin. Literally, got my auntie's haircut. Highlights and all. You've got a pair of chromed up, not clapped out side mirrors. And now there's no excuse for you not to shave every day. I certainly will. What's Tim got against facial hair? It's because he can't grow one. He can't grow a beard, can he? I'm one to talk, I can barely just about grow one. It just looks like a golf cart, doesn't it? Like they're going to fucking start teeing off. I don't know golf terminology, is that right? Let me know in the comments. Hidden underneath here is a whole new world. Savage. All right, Logan Paul. Saying savage in 2006, okay. We've installed a kaleidoscope projector. Switch it on and it'll reflect off these mirrors and up onto the lid. It's even sound activated. Now that's got to keep the party buzzing. To be honest, that's kind of cool for what he's trying to do to have it involved in his event management thing and have it at the party. I like that. That's probably the only thing I've liked out of all of these episodes. And I don't even know how much I showed you. So you might have to just imagine it. Every business needs a USP. That's a unique selling pimp. Now I think I've found the perfect one for your pickup. What have you just said to me, Pinky? A unique selling pimp? 
All right, okay. I, yeah. And while you're vegging out in the hot tub, you can watch DVDs in your very own seven. Not DVDs. Oh, I really thought we'd go an episode without hearing DVDs, but at least it didn't come from that man's mouth and it came from Pinkies. And then they put pixelated stuff up on the screen because it's pure that, in it? Because that's the only collection that that guy's got. I don't know his name. He's a connoisseur of the adult industry arts. Come on, Jono, don't be shy. Sorry, Pinky, I don't do hot tubs on my first date. I do, Pinky. Can I get involved? Sorry. She's older than my mum at this point. Your festival's gonna be crazy. Everyone's gonna be flocking there. But please, no sheep. Westwood, he's not Welsh. <laughs> he's Irish, not Welsh. <laughs> Get it? Because the joke is that the Welsh do a bit of that to sheep, in it? Funny. I'm funny. 100 likes, and I'll have a good sleep tonight. Thank you so much. Whoa! Oh, no, oh, no. No, no, no. The DVD yeah. player and everything down yeah. here. Don't. Don't. You'll fucking summon him. <laughs> what is that? The DVD player? Someone's all about DVD. Pack it in. It's one of the best things ever happened to me. And I'm pretty happy with it. Well, no, not pretty. I'm really happy with it, yeah. Thanks MTV for pimping my ride. Yoo-hoo! All right, Mario. Fucking hell. That is the first time I've actually seen someone look genuinely happy at what they've got and now he can go to his festival event management and get all the people all two people in that jacuzzi because it was that fucking big that was a bit shit i wasted one pound 89 on that so if you want to pay for it send me one pound 89 link in the description thank you so much and if you got this far in the video leave a comment trying to summon the man that i can't remember the name of by saying kane loves dvds and spell dvds how you think he'd pronounce it dvds Here's a video if you go and watch, and I'll see you guys again next time with another video. Click it. Thanks. Bye.